Adjuncts, Wikipedia article audio. Adjuncts are unmalted grains or grain products used in brewing beer which supplement the main mash ingredient, often with the intention of cutting costs, but sometimes to create an additional feature, such as better foam retention, flavors, or nutritional value or additives. Both solid and liquid adjuncts are commonly used. Ingredients which are standard for certain beers, such as wheat in a wheat beer, may be termed adjuncts when used in beers which could be made without them such as adding wheat to a pale ale for the purpose of creating a lasting head. The sense here is that the ingredient is additional and strictly unnecessary, though it may be beneficial and attractive. Under the Bavarian Reinheitsgebot purity law it would be considered that an adjunct is any beer ingredient other than water, barley, hops, and yeast. This, however, is an antiquated view. This purity law originated in 16th century German and did not initially include yeast due to the fact that it had not been discovered yet. Definition Types of adjuncts and adjunct products The term adjunct is often used to refer to corn, rice, oats, unmalted barley, and rye. The use of ingredients as substitutes for the main starch source is where the term adjunct is most often used. Adjuncts can be broadly classified according to the physical form in which they are used into solids and liquid syrups. Barley is used as an unmalted grain at up to 10% of the grist. Barley provides both carbohydrates and proteins to the wort, on the negative side the cell walls of the unmalted barley contain high levels of beta-glucans impacts on wort viscosity and haze problems in the bright beer. Barley is also used in the mash as roasted barley to provide color to the beer. Cassava is a novel adjunct used in Africa either as a wet cake or as a purified starch. Corn is commonly used in the production of American-style pale lagers, particularly malt liquor. Corn is generally used in brewing as corn syrup, and as such is highly fermentable. Corn is cheaper than barley, so it is used as a cost-saving measure. Sources of starch adjuncts Oats are used in oatmeal stouts. Oatmeal stouts usually do not specifically taste of oats. The smoothness of oatmeal stouts comes from the high content of proteins, lipids, and gums imparted by the use of oats. The gums increase the viscosity and body adding to the sense of smoothness. Rice is sometimes used in the production of pale lagers, most notably Anheuser-Busch S. Budweiser. Anheuser-Busch is the largest North American buyer of U.S. rice. Rice may be used to lighten the body and the mouth feel, or increase alcohol content, or add a little sweetness. Sugar adjuncts Rye is used in Roggen beers from Germany and in rye beers from America. Rye is notoriously difficult to brew with, so most rye beers only include a small amount of rye. Rye provides a spicy flavor to beer and dramatically increases head formation. Sorghum is used in Africa as a local ingredient saving on expensive imported malt and developing the local agricultural sector. Sorghum has a high gelatinization temperature and is added to a mash cooker to gelatinize the starch before adding to the mash tun. Sorghum has been used for hundreds of years as the main ingredient in many of the indigenous traditional African beers. Sorghum can be used in the malted or the unmalted form. Wheat is used in German and American wheat beers, in Lambic and other Belgian ales, and in English ales. Wheat lightens the body, improves head retention, and provides a tart flavor. Wheat beers are often served with fruit syrups or slices of lemon in the U.S. and Germany. Flavorings 
sugar adjuncts provide only carbohydrates and if used at high levels will result in wort lacking in amino acids and this may lead to poor yeast growth causing tailing fermentations and poor yeast crops. Fruit or Vegetable Priming's sugars such as maple syrup, honey, and molasses are common in craft beers and homebrew. Candy sugar is a common ingredient in strong Belgian ales, where it increases the beer's strength while keeping the body fairly light. Dark varieties of candy sugar also affect the color and flavor of the beer. Caramel syrup is used to provide color to brews and can either be added in the word kettle or at filtration when needed to correct low beer colors. This caramel is not sweet and provides little or no fermentable extract. Grain syrups may be made from maize, wheat, rice, or sorghum and are normally added in the word kettle during the boil. The carbohydrate profile of these syrups may be tailored to suit the brewer's requirements and normally have a fermentability of between 70 and 100 percent. Typically these syrups are 74 to 80 percent W slash W extract. Honey is a primary fermentable and honey beer supplies a portion of the sugars converted during fermentation and is used primarily for flavor. Sucrose may come from sugarcane or from sugar beet. A number of traditional beer styles are brewed with spices. For example, Belgian wit beer is brewed with coriander, Finnish soddy is brewed with juniper berries, and traditional beers in Britain are brewed with honey and spices. Also, some strong winter beers are flavored with nutmeg or cinnamon while ginger is a popular flavoring for a range of beers. Many commercially available pumpkin ales are made with pumpkin pie spices without any actual pumpkin. Spices may be added to the wort during the boil or spices or spice extract may be added at any time during fermentation depending on desired results. Spices used in brewing include Other Less common flavorings include chocolate, coffee, milk, chili peppers and even oysters. Solid adjuncts are either starchy adjuncts which need to be converted to simpler sugars, or solid sugar adjuncts which can be added after conversion. Solid starchy adjuncts are normally produced from cereals and are used in the form of flakes, grits, flour or purified starch and must be added before the mash tun to convert the starch into simple sugars which the yeast can use during fermentation. Cereals with a higher gelatinization temperature than the standard mashing temperatures must be cooked in a cereal cooker to gelatinize the starch before adding to the mash. Solid sugar adjuncts include granulated sugar and glucose chips. Liquid adjuncts are either sucrose syrups or syrups from a grain, are added directly to the word kettle and therefore can be used to reduce loading on the mash and louter ton and effectively increase the brew house capacity. Liquid adjuncts may also be added after fermentation as priming's sugars to give sweetness to the beer for secondary fermentation as in cask or bottle conditioning. Beer may be brewed with a fruit or vegetable adjunct or flavoring. Fruits have been used as a beer adjunct or flavoring for centuries, especially with Belgian lambic styles. Cherry, raspberry, and peach are a common addition to this style of beer. Modern breweries may add only flavored extracts to the finished product, rather than actually fermenting the fruit. All spice anise, cinnamon, clove, coriander, ginger, hot pepper, juniper berries or boughs, licorice, nutmeg, orange or lemon peel, spruce needles or twigs, wormwood, yarrow. One of the most prominent brewers of fruit beer is Yanjing Beer, one of the largest Chinese breweries, which widely markets pineapple and lemon beer. New Glarus Brewing Company, of New Glarus, Wisconsin, produces raspberry tart, 
a from was made with raspberries, wheat, and year-old haler tau hops, and fermented in large oak vats. Magic Hat Brewing Company of Vermont brews No. 9, quite popular in the northeastern U.S. and is a not-quite-pale ale flavored with apricots. R.J. Rockers Brewing Company of South Carolina released Son of a Peach Wheat Ale in 2009 which is made with peaches added during the fermentation process. Frulai is a Belgian fruit beer made from 70% wheat beer and 30% fruit juice. Anheuser Busch Brews Tequiza, a beer flavored with tequila from Blue Agave Nectar. Desperados is a tequila-flavored beer popular among German and French youth. Pumpkin-flavored beers are brewed seasonally in the autumn in North America. An example, Pumpkin, is produced by Southern Tier Brewing Company. Chili pepper is used to flavor pale lagers. One of the most popular American chili beers is produced by Esks in Taos, New Mexico. Esk's Taos Green Chili Beer is made with New Mexico roasted green chilies. Black Mountain Brewing Company in Cave Creek, Arizona, brews Cave Creek Chili Beer, the only internationally marketed chili beer. Great Leap Brewing, a Beijing microbrewery, uses Sichuan pepper in its Honey Ma Blonde to attract Chinese drinkers familiar with the taste.